dear friends shiva sutra sixth technique we are seeing what the sixth technique says in worldly activity in worldly activity keep attentive between the two breaths and in practicing in few days you will be born new so in worldly activities keep attentive between the two breaths and in few days you are born new shiva says to parvati yesterday being shivaratri people used to awaken the whole night coming here it is something like the first sutra with a mild modification first sutra says you are leaving the breath out you are taking the breath in the gap you have to concentrate he says to concentrate for few 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 minutes but here the difference is you have to keep on concentrating in your daily activity from morning to evening whatever you do whether you are eating or sleeping or uh, whether you are taking bath or cooking studying walking driving a car in all the world activity worldly activity he says concentrate in the gap of you are leaving the breath taking the breath inside once again you have to take uh, it out that gap you leave the breath then the gap concentrate on that gap alone that is when you are doing the work that is the important difference here what happens when you are doing your activity that is doing when you concentrate on the breath the gap then two things are happening in you one is being i already taught you am is or was where will be shall be it is being so two things happens you are being because you are concentrating on the gap between the breath so you are within yourself the being is there then the doing is there what is the doing you are cooking you are working you are operating the computer you are taking bath you are washing so two things are going simultaneously one is being within yourself and doing certain action that is at the time when you concentrate in between the gaps of inhaling breath and the time it comes out that gap you're leaving the breath out exhaling and the gap when you inhale once again that gap as you concentrate 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 what happens you are being in yourself but the difference here is when you are doing an action also so the action goes on simultaneously so here two persons are doing one is yourself and one other person is doing so you feel the doer is separate from the beer who is the beer it is you you are centered and the action is going on <coughs> it is like somebody doing a role somebody doing a part just like in tv serial you are given a tv role you do a tv role isn't it that tv role acts happens but you are you are you are doing an action so when you concentrate on the gaps you become two persons one you be in yourself and you become a doer and doer you will be able to witness the doer doing the action so far you are doing the action now you are able to understand somebody else is doing you feel that somebody else is doing so two layers are there so here as you concentrate on the breath you will understand 
you are doing a role what the society accepted you you are a female or you are a male female should be like this not talkative she should marry she should give birth to the child she should take care of her parents mother in law father in law so when you are in the being when you concentrate on the breath you understand the role you are doing you understand you are different from that person who is doing that person is doing because of culture because of tradition because of norms because of religion and caste and family rules so here you become a witness to the roles which you do so you do actions you do activities but you won't be serious if you are serious in your roles then the problem happens when you are very serious about you and the role both are same if you feel then all sorts of health and mental problems happens so this technique of the finding out the gap and concentrating on the gap and being on the gap for all day it makes you and the activity different in the history you find krishna a character you know krishna he has taken many roles as a child as a robber he he, he takes away things and everything he plays funs he has lot of girlfriends he used to dance he used to sing in the yamuna river banks and he is also a great ruler he is a great fighter he also is a close relative of pancha bantavas and gauravas he was the main role during the time of mahabharat war and he is the person who has given bhagavad gita not only is a teacher philosopher a warrior a romantic person a enchanter a naughty boy a smart and handsome fellow he does all the roles he is not serious about any roles but he plays his role very well he plays games he makes fun because always he is in center and he sees that his roles are doing that function he is not serious about it because he is always in the center he is not identified with the role if i am a teacher if i am identified with the teacher completely then out i and teaching is different i become a witness and see the teaching how i am teaching and that activity activity gets more activated it will be more alive everybody should understand from the day you are born it is fixed that you are going to die a day and whatever you do all these years it is already pre planned written one day you are going to die all others are sitting and they are going to cry it is already pre determined that is called fate and everything what you do is a role we are in this world to enact our role already written in valmiki it is said valmiki ramayana valmiki has written ramayana before rama is born that's what it is said and rama has to follow exactly what valmiki has written it is already pre planned see krishna we have said in mahabharat in ramayanam rama he is centered inside and he does the role of sita's husband 
when sita is stolen or when sita is kidnapped by ravana if rama is 100% attached to his role as a husband either he would have got an heart attack or he would have committed suicide no the same day he went slept took bath next day next day he was preparing for a war now he is taken a different role as a warrior to fight against ravana he is not so much attached towards his role so don't get attached towards your role towards your whatever you are doing it is just a role don't be serious about it the sixth technique is just concentrate on the gap just concentrate and find out the significance so in this sixth technique you will find whatever happening to you it is something happening to somebody else you are just a witness somebody else is doing the role as a father mother brother sister work so this technique is to be practiced from morning to night in your worldly activity when you are eating eat but always have the awareness between the gaps and you eat you sleep at the time of sleeping find out the gap and be aware of that gap so this technique sixth technique try to follow in your worldly activities now my dear friends close your eyes and concentrate you inhale the breath deeply and exhale it in the gap concentrate try to feel the awareness in the gap try to feel the awareness in the gap and as you exhale the breath and inhale the breath find out the gap be aware of the gap this you should do from morning to night 1 minute let your roles go out of you you be on your own and whether you are a teacher or housewife or husband you just see as a witness that person is doing the same person is some other person and once you understand the difference then you will find out life is in serious life is something roles to be enacted life is not serious life is a role to be enacted you are different from the role this is the essence of shiva sutra 6 nanbargale the aravad sutrathla pathinga shiva sutrathla முதல் சூத்திரம் என்ன சொல்கிறது மூச்சை வெளியே விடுறோம் உள்ளே இழிக்கிறோம் அந்த இடைப்பட்ட அந்த இடைப்பட்ட நேரத்தில் நம்ம விழிப்புணர்வுடன் கவனித்தோம் என்றால் அந்த இடைவெளியை கவனித்தோம் என்றால் நாம் நாமாக உணர்வதை அறிகிறோம் ஆனால் அந்த டெக்னிக்குக்கு இந்த ஆறாவது டெக்னிக்குக்கு என்ன வித்தியாசம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நீ காலையிலிருந்து இரவு வரைக்கும் அன்றாட வாழ்க்கையில் செய்யக்கூடிய நிகழ்ச்சிகளின் பொழுது அந்த இடைவெளியை பற்றியே நினைத்து கொண்டிருக்க வேண்டும் என்று சொல்கிறார் சிவன் பார்வதியிடம் சொல்கிறார் மொத்தம் பதினெட்டு டெக்னிக்கில் இருக்கிறது மூச்சு பயிற்சியில் இதில் ஆறாவது டெக்னிக் அப்போ அந்த இடைப்பட்ட இடைவெளியை கவனித்து கொண்டிருக்கும் பொழுது காலையிலிருந்து மாலை வரைக்கு சாப்பிடும் பொழுதும் உறங்கும் பொழுதும் குளிக்கும் பொழுதும் அந்த இடைப்பட்ட அந்த இடைவெளியை மூச்சு விடுகிறோம் அந்த மூச்சு வெளியே போகுது அந்த இடைவெளி மூச்சு வெளியே போன மூச்சு மறுபடியும் புது மூச்சு எடுக்கிறோம் அந்த இடைவெளி அந்த இடைவெளியில் தீவிரமாக கவனம் செலுத்தி கொண்டே இருக்கும் பொழுது நாம் இரண்டு பாகங்களை பார்க்கிறோம் ஒன்று நீயாக இருப்பதை பார்க்கிறாய் மூச்சு விடும்போது மூச்சு எடுக்கும்போது நீ நீயாக இருக்கிறாய் 
நீ செய்யக்கூடிய செய்கைகள் செய்யும் பொழுது வேறொருவர் அந்த செய்கையை செய்வது போல உணர்வாய் அது சிறிது காலம் கழிந்தவுடன் நீ உணர்ந்து கொள்வாய் சில காலங்கள் என்பது சில நாட்கள் அப்பொழுது நீ புதிய மனிதனாக உருவெடுப்பாய் அந்த செய்யக்கூடிய காரியங்கள் செயல்கள் நூறு சதவீதம் கச்சிதமாக இருக்கும் வாழ்க்கையை நீ ரொம்ப சீரியஸாக எடுத்துக்கொள்ள மாட்டாய் வாழ்க்கை என்பது நிச்சயக்கப்பட்ட ஒன்று என்று அறிந்து கொள்ளப் போகிறாய் சாவு என்று முடிவு செய்யப்பட்டது நீ நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய அனைத்து செயல்களும் நிர்ணயிக்கப்பட்ட செயல்கள் என்று அறிவாய் மகாபாரதத்தில் கிருஷ்ணன் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எப்போவுமே அவருடைய சென்டரில் இருந்து கொண்டிருந்து அவர் செய்யக்கூடிய ஒவ்வொரு குணாதிசயங்களும் கேரக்டர்ஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு குறும்புக்கார குழந்தையாக போர் வீரனாக ஒரு நாட்டின் ராஜாவாக மகாபாரதத்திலே கௌரவர்களுக்கும் பாண்டவர்களுக்கும் ஒரு சொந்தக்காரராக நண்பனாக பகவத்கீதையை கொடுத்த மாபெரும் தத்துவ ஞானியாக என்று பல கேரக்டர்ஸை பார்த்துக்கிறீங்க ஆனால் எந்த இதுலேயும் அவர் சீரியஸாக இருக்க மாட்டார் சந்தோஷமாகவும் மகிழ்ச்சியாகவும் விளையாட்டுத்தனமாகவே இருந்து கொண்டு இருப்பார் அவர் தன் மத்தியிலே இருந்து கொண்டு அவர் செய்யக்கூடிய அனைத்து ரோல்ஸையும் ஒரு சாட்சியாகத்தான் பார்த்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார் ராமாயணத்தில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ராமரும் அதே போன்று தான் அவர் நிலையிலிருந்து மாறவில்லை சீதா கடத்தப்பட்ட பொழுது கூட முழுமையாக தான் கணவன் என்று அந்த ஒரு ஒரு ரோலுக்கு வராமல் மறுபடியும் போர் வீரன் என்ற புதிய ரோல் எடுத்துக்கொண்டார் அப்படி நீ அந்த குணாதிசயங்களுடன் ஒன்றியாகும் பொழுது என்ன ஆகிவிடுகிறாய் அதனால் பாதிப்புக்கு உண்டாக்கப்படுகிறாய் ஸோ சிவசூத்ரா ஆறு காலை முதல் இரவு வரை செய்யக்கூடிய செயல்கள் அனைத்திலும் விடக்கூடிய மூச்சு இழுக்கக்கூடிய மூச்சு அந்த இடைவெளி இதில் கவனம் செலுத்து நூற்றி பன்னிரெண்டு டெக்னிக்ஸில் இந்த ஆறாவது டெக்னிக் காலப்போக்கிலே அறிந்து கொள்வாய் தெரிந்து கொள்வாய் நீ வேறு செயல்கள் வேறு நீ கையை செய்யக்கூடிய செயல்கள் ஒவ்வொன்றும் உனக்கு சமுதாயம் ஜாதி மதம் நீ ஆணாக பெண்ணாக மதம் அந்த சூழ்நிலைக்கு தகுந்தபடி நாட்டின் தகுந்தபடி கலாச்சாரத்துக்கு தகுந்தபடி அந்த ரோலை நீ செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாய் என்பதை அறிவாய் So let us end this sixth technique. Dear friends, now we are going to seventh technique. Shiva Sutra seventh technique. You know the forehead that is, uh, you know, in between your two eyebrows this is the third eye when you look at the third eye by closing your eyelid but opening your eyes and concentrating in between the eyebrows you are making the third eye to awaken your third eye needs attention as the third eye awakens you understand the power of your life and you understand the power of life where do you get the power of life through the breath you take the breath inside it is not there inside there there is one thing called prana the shakti the power it goes and gives to a particular place where you want to survive live and it comes out empty so only when you are in the third eye you will be able to find out the prana shakti once you understand the prana then all the cosmic energy will be coming through your forehead and spreading up to your chest and later it will spread all through your body so you find a magnetic power 
energy flowing inside your body because now you are able to understand what is life and what is the food for your body and soul. So, here Shiva says with intangible breath coming through the forehead, intangible means the prana coming, the breath coming inside. As it reaches the heart, the moment of sleep, at the time of sleeping, have direction over dreams and even death itself. So, you are coming deeper, deeper, deeper layer you are coming. So, only by knowing the third eye, you will be knowing the intangible breath that is the prana coming through the forehead, <coughs> your head, then up to the heart, you can feel it. And as you sleep, there will not be any dreams or you can direct what type of dreams you can have and even on death itself. See my dear friends, <coughs> if you know the prana, you will be knowing at the time of sleeping, you sleep in the forehead, you are concentrating in the eyebrows, mid of eyebrows and you can feel the energy coming inside your forehead, head up to your chest. <coughs> As the energy comes inside. you dream. Generally, what is a dream? In dream, you do not know the, whether that is, it is a dream. In dream, you think it is a reality. In night time, you see, when the dream is on, you can never think it is a dream. You become part of the dream. You think it is the dream. Only the next day morning, only the next day morning, you can say it is a dream. Night when you are dreaming, you do not know that it is a dream. See dreams, you cannot dream according to your wish. You cannot say I want to dream today about this. No, dreams cannot be created. You can create house, you can buy a house, you can build a house. But nobody in this world can create a dream. Dream cannot be created. See how weak we are. But the dreams, you can plan your dreams only when you are on the forehead, concentrating between the eyebrows. And when you know about the prana, at the time of sleeping, you concentrate and all energy comes up to your heart, the breath, the prana. Then you can direct your dreams. If you say, I want to have a dream like this, you will have a dream like that. So, your dreams can be made and created or manufactured only when you are concentrating on the third eye. And when you are able to understand the prana is the most important. Once you are able to be the master of your dreams, then you are the master of death. Once you are able to be the master of dreams, sooner you will be able to stop the dreams. Generally, we send messages, wish them sweet dreams. It is wrong. Dreamless sleep is the deep sleep. Pure milk and milk, milk mixed with water, two differences are there. A dream sleep is something water mixed milk. Without a dream, if you sleep and this is possible only when you concentrate on your third eye. In generally in, in India, what do they say? Sleep is a short death and death is a long sleep. Sleep daily, daily you are sleeping is a short death and the death is a long sleep. When you sleep, it is a day to day activity. Yesterday night you sleep, next day morning you get up. So, day to day connection is sleep, but in death 
life is over next life is starting so death to death connection is i mean life to life connection is death so day to day connection is sleep life to life connection is death so a dreamless sleep means in death you go won't get any dreams so in sleep if you don't get dreams you are something like dead <clears throat> and next day you are born new just like when you die in this planet and the next birth you take that gap when you are able to direct your dreams when you are able to stop your dreams because of concentrating on the third eye and knowing the prana <clears throat> you will be able to say what life you want to be born in the next life it happened to jesus christ in christianity it is said that three stars and one man, one one savior is going to be born all the omens were said in christianity even in uh, <clears throat> mahabharat you can see krishna it is told that he will be born the eighth son and his uncle was killing all the first two seven sons and later because somebody is capable of telling what he will be born in the next birth then in buddha that is before the birth of buddha he told i will be born to a mother <coughs> when she is under a palm tree she will be a princess queen i will be born to her when she is standing i will be born as a born as a you know after the birth within few minutes i will take seven steps but the mother will die the queen will die so buddha has told before his birth this is what is going to happen and the next birth it happened like that the lady has died the princess has died the queen has died and they asked buddha why <clears throat> why did you, why did uh, did this happen and he told giving birth to buddha is a great event that is a 100 percent fulfillment for that lady for the mother so what else is that for her to achieve and live and she died dreamless without dreams you are able to master the death so here the point here is concentrate on your third eye close your eyes your eyes concentrate on the third eye that is the place where you put the dot or kumkum full concentration and just inhale the breath it is not that the air alone goes inside inside the air the so called the power to live the prana goes inside as you understand this you can find out all the cosmic energy is coming through your body through your head and is filling up your chest and as you go to the as you go to bed this this technique is used before going to sleep before going to sleep then you can direct your dreams i want this dream that dream and sooner even that dreams won't come deep sleep it is something like death no dreams a man without dreams is dead and dead is something great event because you are born new and then it is mini deaths daily mini deaths and next day you are born new 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 your mind is fresh then as you practice you are not a human being you become a superhuman being you understand what is life we are living in a universe you are not going to go anywhere death is certain but death is not also certain 
you are going to die, the body goes, your eye goes, your ego goes. But once again you are born because in this universe you are going to be born again and again. You cannot go anywhere, you have to be here. So, when you become master of your sleep, master of your dreams, death is nothing for you, death is nowhere for you. You can dictate death. This is the seventh technique. So, seventh technique says concentrate on the forehead that is uh, between your eyebrows, take the breath, feel the prana sakti going inside, it is not there, inside there, there is one power and it goes out empty. As you understand the prana sakti, lot of pranas will be coming through your forehead and let it will be filling up to your chest. This particular technique is used only during the night time when you are going to sleep. As you, as the, you understand the prana is filled in your body, then you can direct the dreams. In short span of time, even the dreams will stop completely. As the dreams stop, it is something like mini dead, death. If you do not do pract this practice, what happens for a normal human being, he always dreams, it is something like superfluous sleep. That is what is happening for him. So, with this seventh sutra, <coughs> we shall practice that. So, Nanbarglai, Sivanodi Yela Sutra in Sulikira Dendral, Neti Puru Matile, Unodi and Nenevigla Sindhanegle, Vaitukunde, all the Muche Edutukul, Ulever a Muche, Katru Matumale, Katru Kulerka Kuria, the Prana Sati, Vodamili and the Bakatle Poi, Todavintuma and the Bakatle Tote, Unaka Sakti, Valanki Hirade. Unodi a weird Shakti, Valanki Hirade, are the Todakudi and the Naval into Solokudi, a topil Pagadi kitchen to Thirty Vitu Varigade. Ide Adin the Kulum Buddha and the Jeeva Sakti, Muladar Sakti, and the Prana Sakti Arium Buddha Vanile, Vulakatilka Kudi, Anit the Sakti Kulumunodi, Natriviliaka and the Marbile, Varik Varigade, the Vodal Muluka Parikavigade. In the Sivanodi Ela Sutra, me the Tungum Buddha, the Murangum Buddha, the Pine Patta Vendum, Vurangum Buddha. In the Jeeva Sakthiudan Arindani Thungum Buddha, Kanavukal, Barade Kanavukal illa the Thukam and Buddha, Save Ponda de Thungi Kundurkum Buddha, Kanavukan to Kundurandal, are the Thukamilai, Unode, Manade, Sada Kolapathi Lirikara than Dartham. Inge in the Mulada Sakthi Arindu Hundal, Ni Kanavukulai Vilkirai. Tukate Vilkirai, Savayim Vilkirai Add the Peravil in a Peravi at a Kavendum in Paday, Ni Nirna Ikirai. Would not a Valka in the Bulahatil Epri, Irkavendum in Padayim Ni Nirna Ikirai. So either a Kadipadayana the Ne Ukan the Kunde and the Yerende Netri, Netri lay, Maya Pagdi lay, Governum Selati. Un much will wang muche governum self of endum, a lirka kudia sakti are in the kondal. Tukate velhirai, savi in velhirai. Just one, two minutes, just concentrate on your forehead, just concentrate on your forehead. The place where you keep your dot in between the eyebrows, in between the eyebrows. Take a deep breath. It is not there, inside there something is there. That is the life. Leave it. Take deep breath. Let it go out. Deep breath. Now, the, all the cosmic energy, the universal energy from sun, star, moon, planets, <coughs> feel that all entering your body, up to your chest, through your head. It goes all through your body. This exercise, please do it in the night time. So, be the master of your sleep, master of your dreams. 
and you dictate your life and you dictate what you want so you are in complete control slowly open your eyes slowly open your eyes rub both the hands and just touch your eyes slowly touch your third eye yes in short summary could you say what you are able to understand take the mic in short summary summary of what you have understood i understood that i understood that our thoughts are controlled by the oxygen what we take in and uh, prana inside prana. oxygen there is a prana because prana. at the time of death the air is there but he is not able to live because why he is unable to take the prana shakti inside see you go to a hospital your prana shakti is taken from you so you feel so tired you go to some nice poor place where you find some holy people you get the energy from them prana energy from them going to the hospital whether even if it is apollo or ames it is not a great thing it is where you lose your prana shakti your prana energy is going because all are sick prana less so inside air there is a prana that is the most important you understand that your life is something extraordinary yeah so when i feel the prana i feel fresh and uh, i can able to concentrate better not only inside air you get prana inside water there is a prana see inside water fish is able to live inside mud there is a prana all the worms are able to live from the mud we get rice we get uh, tomato potato whatever it is and you put inside the body you are a child you become a grown up child such a big creation you are made the prana is in mud the prana is in the air the prana is in the fire hot food you take is good for your health isn't it prana is in water so this prana shakti you understand the prana shakti then your eating will be devotion your working will be devotion devikam that's what it's called this is what short okay what do you what are you able to understand madam what do you are able to understand in short about this shiva sutra 6th and 7th i can feel that uh, four eight part uh, because i'm doing the uh, four eight thing meditation and we can and we say it as uh, akinai that uh, inhale and exhale breathing technique is uh, very useful okay in tamil aginai means concentrating in between the eyebrows but here the problem is you are not only concentrating between eyebrows but shiva sutra says concentrate between eyebrows and concentrate on the breath simultaneously both simultaneously together not in the in the breath not only there inside the air the prana shakti so three things are there agni means concentrating only you are sitting here and concentrating only you are focusing here not like that you are concentrating here then you are concentrating on the air coming then you are concentrating third step inside the air what is there then after that you are concent- that fourth step is all the power cosmos energy coming through your body and filling your heart you're pulling you're trying to pull because you know the matter so four things are there agni is only concentrating here but extra four things are there yes madam what is your, what is your points <coughs> i concentrate on my eyebrow and uh, and i also uh, breathe in concentrate <coughs> i feel better to uh, get 
are from inside and <coughs> going outside at that time yes what 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 you are able to understand see in breath it's all breath techniques when you take the breath you shout oh when it goes out mm this is what om om this is the only word only letter and from this letter alone all the words have come all the languages have come this is the base root word letter o you are taking the breath inside mm you are leaving om so this is the breathing technique which shiva has told just tell me madam uh, shiva six sutra uh, we should uh, concentrate on the gap between uh, the inhale and exhale from the morning to the evening uh, it's a better refreshment of our mind and uh, on seventh sutra sutra Mm. we should concentrate on our forehead uh, taking inside the inside the breath uh, there is a one prana in the air we should concentrate on this prana we'll got a refreshment and it is a good refreshment technique not so point what's the point you can tell in tamil also So you should feel, my dear. Daily morning, you just you go to some early morning. The air is very fresh. You just sit there and <laughs> find. Is it the air alone you take? What is inside the air? Concentrate. Then you understand. There is something, you know, sweetness. Something going inside, inside you, touching the most important part where it is needed. This prana goes. Somebody, somewhere, some place, it goes and gives the food and goes out. empty empty when going it is empty it is like lorry coming with the luggage coming 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 and just delivering the luggage and going out empty air goes out empty luggage is dropped that luggage is prana and you get more and more luggages prana when you are sick in the hospital the outgoing prana is more yes illa vandu concentration panna mudiyum inno nu pathinga fresh ana air அதெல்லாம் போய் நம்ம மூளை ஃப்ரெஷ் ஆகி நல்ல கான்சென்ட்ரேட்டிங் ब्लड सर्कुலேஷன்ஸ் எல்லாமே கொடுக்கும் மைண்ட் யூ பிராணாக்கு தேர் இஸ் நோ नीड ஆஃப் ஃப்ரெஷ் ஏர் யூ டிக் எ ஹோல் யூ கோ தேர் யூ க்ளோஸ் தட் ஈவன் தேர் யூ கெட் பிராணா when the child was in the mother's womb அம்மாவுடைய ஸ்டமக் உள்ள இருக்கும்போது அந்த ஊம் the child was beating heart was beating but no air it is not breathing the prana shakti is given through the the tube only when the child comes out it starts it's not crying the first sucking sucking the air it do, does the duty first duty of the child is suck the air second duty of the child is suck the breast so a human being starts with suck he starts sucking the air and he starts sucking the breast so here the prana it is not air prana can be anywhere even air is not needed 